would be uh, some new advancement in the in the uh, in the AI runtime for WatermEdge. So you know we have recently supported multi-modal large language models. You know that's what they call visual language models, meaning that they can stand uh, look at a picture. The model can look at a picture and understand it. Not just the OCR, not just the text in the picture, but the content of the picture, the art, and you know things like that. So um, I ask uh, DM4 to come along and uh, uh, give us a demo. You know, that's uh, um, it's called a Lava demo. You know, it's a large video model, you know, instead of Lama, it's called Lava, right? You know, so uh, DM4, please. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me share my screen. Okay, can everyone see my terminal now? Yes, I can see. Yes, oh, okay. Okay, let's start. Uh... I'm here to demo the the our RC and GML plugin to currently support the multi model called Lava model, and we support two format of uh, pass the images argument to the plugin. The first one is pass the uh image file pass to our GML plugin. So uh let's get started. Uh uh I. I just download a, a, a image of Mona Lisa, and yet, and uh, we can give this image to our uh, Wasi uh, plugin. Let me explain the arguments. The AM project is a multi-model projection model. Uh, it to we use it to convert the image. Image we image, we pass image through the image parameter. They will convert the image to the uh to the by string like to the tokens to for the uh this is the model that actually that uh do the inference job and yeah that's it so we can use our Watson edge uh to ask the model question for example we can ask it like do you know who drew these paintings. And uh, yeah, you can see the inference here to the model just reply and tell us the answer of our question. We can ask one more question like, what is in this painting? Look how the model reply. And yeah, the model tells us the more detail about this, this painting of the Mona Lisa. And this is my first demo to show how we pass the image to our GML plugin. And yet, for another example, we can convert the image to a BAS64 in code. Like, I just download another fruit image. And we can use something like BAS64 command to encode this picture to, a, a, to, to encode it. And uh, in our Rust code, we can give uh we can pass the image through the bytes string here and use a image tag in our prompt. This Rust program will insert the image into our user prompt and text the model. Okay, so again, it's root picture. Okay, okay, uh, in in. And this time we, we don't pass the image file here because we encode this image and pass it in our prompt. So we don't have to pass the image file here. So like previous example, we can ask the model why it's in this picture. Oh, I in this example, I use another Lava 1.67 billion model called Maestro 7 billion. And the model tells us the picture shows very uh, fruits. And we can ask something like, please tell me the kind of fruits that is not in the picture. And the, and the model will ask, and the picture does not contain apples. Yeah. In these two examples, I show how to pass the image to our GGML plugin. The first one is to pass the uh, image file. And the second one is to encode the image to x64 format and pass it in the prompt. Yeah, that's it. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's uh, um, yeah. So I find those demos very compelling, you know, because um, you know, that's um, 
we were used to AI reading OCR images, right? You know, you have a, a picture of text and they figure out what's in the text. You know, that was, um, you know, at least my impression with AI in the past. But now it's uh, it really shows it understands uh, what's in the, in the content of the image, like you know, what fruit is missing. You know, that's uh, so it requires a lot of uh, a deep knowledge about that. And uh, we also have a, a chatbot UI that allows you to uh, up upload a picture and start a conversation to discuss the picture. So, you know, um, so the open source large language models um, are getting closer and closer to say, you know, the the, the multi-model models that uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT have, right? You know, so uh, I want to emphasize that uh, demo DM4 have shown it's entirely running on his own laptop, you know, so he downloaded the model to to his own computer and uh, and then, you know I believe it's a MacBook and it then runs from there right you know so it's not something you need a huge server you know to um, you know to achieve this kind of performance you know that's with Wasm Edge you can you can you can essentially run anywhere that uh, that Wasm is supported in the MacBook you know a Linux server a uh, media device uh, ARM device Raspberry Pi you know whatever you know that's so you know I'm very excited with about this. This new feature, and if you're interested, you know, um, please make sure that you check it out. And uh, I'm gonna paste the link to a, a article tutorial about how to run this model in a in a chat in a minute. But you know, that's uh, so. This is definitely something um, you know uh, you can try on your own computer.